Hey, hola, my friends. I hope all is fine and well with you and yours. I'm over here hanging out with the Coobster. Kevin's over there wallowing in the mud. It's kind of a hot day today. I wanted to thank um, my amazing wife, Rose, and my amazing manager, Rachel, for hooking us up with these brand new signs. And these are laminated, and these are for the kids and for the grown-ups, for kids of all ages, when they come over here and visit. And they want to learn a little bit more about the fun and friendly animals that we have here in our gardens. There's my boys, there's Newton, there's, pardon me, there's Newton, there's Einstein, absolute worst names in the world for these dogs. They do not live up to it, but you know what? They're beautiful just the way they are. Ain't that right, guys? Yeah, they, they heard me. They don't like that. Ain't that right, guys? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, boom, boom, boom. Finally got the pool clean, a little bit of vacuuming, but that's okay. I got something super awesome to show you guys today. Let's make our way down here. Now, um... First, let's go over to the aquaponics rig. Now, um, a week ago today, this was hammered. If you look at the leaf, the leaves on the um, cucumber plant, this was hammered by a microburst with dime-sized hail, like 50, 60 mile per hour winds. This was just hammered. And just like a couple of months ago, we had cucumbers growing from, in, from this side. By the way, guys, if you haven't seen that video, please go back, check them out. There's always something cool to learn in all of the videos. I encourage you to go back through them and check them out. But this was just hammered. And I, I didn't want to start from scratch, especially not with cucumbers again, because we had already did that couple of months ago after the bad storm that we had on this side and plus the aphid um, attack so um we the fast forward we've been doing the neem treatments no problems with aphids thank goodness but for those of you who have been following us closely yeah basil's looking all right back there um i've been working with dr james letch all right from the netherlands and i gotta tell you guys he has me so stuck on this just the idea and the possibilities of using nano bubble technology now um just to break you guys, I'll break it down for you guys again real quick. Um, while using man nano bubbles, it's actually applying um, Einstein's Brownian theory to where large bubbles would just come up to the top and pop. Macro bubbles will come out in an inverted line, an inverted spiral. If you can see that line underneath, and then they'll float up to the top. Well, nano bubbles are even smaller, and they're the ones that are bringing the strip all the way across to the other side of the barrel. And nano bubbles can last up to one to two months. Now, one nano bubble can fit um, 850 nano bubbles inside of one normal size bubble. And the oxygen lasts that much longer. So, if you look at the water, you'll notice that that's crystal clear all the way down to the bottom. That's actually the nano bubble technology keeping this water clear as well. You won't see any algae on the sides, anything of that nature. Look at that cool reflection. Hey, hola, my friends. <laughs> Pretty awesome. But. Um, I said um, I'm going to use, since we already applied the nano bubble technology to the aquaponics rig, I said what if we applied it to the water that we would be using or harvesting or even saving in order to take care of our traditionally grown plants or to even replenish the aquaponics tank. Because prior to that, my friends, we'd have it automatically filled from here. Low oxygen water, it's also super hot because the hose is hot. So many things that you don't really think about until you actually take time to think about it. So I got rid of the super hot water coming from the hose because I actually put this on the coolest facing direction on my property. And we have two buckets. And we have the um, nano oxygen pumps, the water pumps, um, giving direct um, nano, oxygen, um, nano oxygen to our water 24 hours a day, once again, even in the blue barrel. Crystal clean all the way down to the bottom. The nano oxygen um, molecules actually bring the um, harder, the heavier debris down to the bottom. So it's also a very efficient way that's used for cleaning things. That's used for cleaning things in the science. But I digress. So we had that huge storm. I said, all right. I had some water over here. I had it running with the nano bubble with the um, pumps in there, nano bubbler pumps in there. And I said, what if I apply this water? to my damaged cucumbers, would they be able to recover? And this has been a week to the day, guys. Look at the recovery. Go back a week from today and look at the videos. Even take a look at this basil right here. Take a look at the cucumbers. I wanna show you guys something pretty cool. Um, this is a cucumber that was doing okay right before the storm. The storm hit, you know, it put some pressure on the plant. So this is how the plant responds. Shows off in the fruit. This one is about two or three days after I started the nano bubbles, um, replenishing the water from the nano bubble on reservoirs. These three 
are after that. Now, it's not a matter of the size difference. It's a matter of this, you see the strange shapes? That's based on uneven watering, and that's what you get when you get the horrible storm or stress on a plant. Either way, I was super happy because they've not only recovered, they've not only rebounded, they're doing great. Take a look over here at our hydroponics rig, which I think is cool because somewhere around here, this thing, we actually have two tomatoes. But what's even more cool, see, I didn't even show you guys these. I had these guys sitting over here in the cuts this whole time. Look at this. Bam. These are two cherry tomato starts, and I did nothing but keep them over here in the um, tank, just sitting in the, um, the, the um, grow tank, in the um, grow bed with the um, fabric pots. We also have our pollinator visitors. You see we have bees in our yards too. We also um, replenish this with the oxygenated water as well, and we've seen an amazing rebound in these plants. But here's where the biggest rebound came in. I said if I'm going to do a test, I'm going to do a test on the majority of the plants that we have grown. This is um, a dragon fruit, dragon fruit cactus um, that was gifted to us about a year and a half ago. And when we got it, it was about this big from here to here. Now, we gave this three buckets full. That's 15 gallons of um, the solution of the oxygenated water last week. I gave it three more today, today um, being a week. And these popped up over the last week. One, two, three, four, five, six six new dragon fruits i can't wait guys man i'm super excited it is cold cooling down just a little bit also man oh before i forget see those little yellow eggs right there i'm not gonna kill those you know why because those are oh those aren't even yellow eggs that's just a leaf but um we had a bunch of yellow eggs out here and those eggs actually belong to the um hatberry empire or emperor moth and it's a really beautiful moth and I'm growing hackberries back here, and it's not just a garden for me. This garden is for all of the creatures, butterflies, that live in this neighborhood. We just happen to be the stewards of it. I don't know about you guys. Um, this has just been a gorgeous day. On behalf of my family, I'd like to thank you all for just hanging out with us. Also, um, please check us out at TogetherWeGrowAZ.com. All right, also that check out our YouTube channel, which you're already on. If you're here, check us out on Facebook. Guys, please take a look at our website. It's all updated. We got some cool new stuff in the store. I hope to hear from you soon. In the meantime, love your family. Love those close to you. Plant that first seed, and together we grow. Peace and blessings, my friends.